Interesting thing in tech, what is the next new architecture for AI? I'm here in Munich for DLD, we'll be going to Davos. This is gonna be a topic of discussion. The architecture for AI that we've had for quite some time is basically just scaling. You take more words, you dump them into a pot, turn them around, you get better processors, you get better models. Weirdly, it just works, and in fact, it works better than anything else, but there are a couple problems. Huge resource use, takes a lot of energy, takes a lot of water, extremely expensive as you get bigger. You need bigger data centers, so environmental consumption, cost, risk, and maybe, maybe there'll be some kind of an asymptote and it won't improve as much as it has been. Now, some people believe it'll just keep going. After all, it has for quite some time. But some other architectures, one relatedly is just the idea of test time compute. Take the current models, but get them to be better at understanding how much time they should spend on a problem. Like deep research, you spend 15 minutes on a problem or 20 minutes. What if you were to change that? Some problems you spend a week on or six hours or nine hours. That's one model. Second, what about neurosymbolic architectures? I talked about this with Ohad El Hello on a podcast not long ago. What if you gave your models a set of rules and grounded them in that? What if you looked at real interactions that this is how the world works, here are some facts, here are some things you can grow off of, as opposed to just, here's a big word stew, figure things out. This is kind of the debate in self-driving cars. Should you just feed in a bunch of data about how people have driven, or should you feed in some rules, like, hey, if you see a sign like this and it's red with an S, it means to stop. So that's neurosymbolic architecture. Another one is world models. This is what Jan McCoon has been talking about. What if instead of just going for next token prediction with more and more tokens and more and more compute, you actually had models that tried to understand the rules of the world, that tried to learn the way kids learn. You know, they listen to words, but they also see that when you pick up an object like this and you drop it, it falls, maybe it hurts your hand if it's heavy. All of these things that you learn by being out in the world, you can't really learn just from watching videos or from reading text, which goes to the last idea which is spatial intelligence. This is mostly associated with Fei Fei Li. It's re closely related to the idea of world models, but very much related to space and vision. The theory here is that, sure, current models are really good words, information processing, but they're not gonna get us to the next level of intelligence we need where we're interacting with robots and machines that really need to be taught about how the world works. And I don't know if you're holding a balloon and the door is open this much, can you put the balloon through the door based on the size of the balloon, the size of the door opening, the amount the balloon can compress? How do you actually get a model to have that kind of spatial intelligence, not just word intelligence? I wanna learn about more of these and what else is new. All right, that's the most interesting tech. See you tomorrow.